welcome to this episode of the European Traveler. In today's episode we have something very special. I was invited to Switzerland by Eurovapor to ride on this beautiful historic train. But not only that. Later on we switched over to a steamship and had a short cruise across Lake Constance. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's quickly talk about the locomotive that pulled this train. It is a Swiss AE66, owned by the Mikado 1244 Association. In the Swiss numbering scheme, A stands for express train, E for electric locomotive, and 6 slash 6 means that 6 out of 6 axles are driven by the motors. This particular locomotive was built around 1955 and one of the first ones of the AE66 series. The locomotives are also known as Gotthard locomotives because they used to be used on the Gotthard rail line across the Swiss Alps. Well, 120 of these machines were built, but today only a few have survived. And with all the chrome bars and the shiny polished color, they look very, very cool. The itinerary of the journey was from Zurich through Thurgau to Lake Constance. The passengers changed from the train to the ship and enjoyed a three-hour cruise on the lake, which ended in a Romanshorn, where passengers boarded the train again. From Romanshorn, the train took the scenic route along Lake Constance and via Schaffhausen and Winterthur went back to Zurich. On the outbound journey, the train started in Brook where the depot of the Mikado 1244 Association is located. The first passengers boarded in Zürich Hauptbahnhof and then the train ran via Winterthur and Kreuzlingen to Rorschach. A quick note about the organization, because it might sound confusing at first, but the trip itself was organized by Auro Vapor, who invited me as a photographer. The train was provided by the Mikado 1244 Association and the steamship Hohentwil is operated by the historic shipping company of Lake Constance. And the trip itself and the ticket sales were done by Eurovapor. I will put a link in the description where you can find all the details and also information about future journeys by Eurovapor. Steamship Hohentwil was inaugurated in 1913 and is the only preserved steamship that is still running on Lake Constance. From the beginning on, the Hohentwil was used for passenger transport at Lake Constance. But in the very beginning, it was also partially used for transporting goods. Later modifications removed the capability for goods transport and added additional passenger space. Due to fuel shortages in the Second World War, the Hohentwil and other steamships were heavily used for transporting goods on the lake in order to preserve fuel. 
This was possible because the ship was powered by coal instead of precious diesel that was needed elsewhere. The Hoentville was in regular service until 1962 when it was retired and became anchored as a clubhouse with a restaurant. In the 1980s the ship was about to be scrapped but it was rescued from the scrapyard and rebuilt in order to run as a museum ship as it runs today. The steamer cruise on Lake Constance took about three hours. During the cruise lunch was served and the passengers could get a close look of some of the cities around Lake Constance. Very interesting was also the Rhine estuary, where the Hochrhein from the Alps flows into Lake Constance. The water from the Rhine has a lot of sediment from the mountains and this sediment gives it a brownish color. And you can clearly see the divide from the water of the Rhine uh, as opposed to the water of the lake. Later on on the cruise, the ship passed the cities of Lindau, Wasserburg and Langenargen before turning and crossing the lake again over to Romanswan. From Romanshorn the train took the scenic route along Lake Constance, passing through Kreuzlingen along Untersee and Stein am Rhein.
One of the highlights of the journey was definitely the passing of the Rhine Falls in the city of Schaffhausen. This is a very cool moment when the train passes over the bridge and you can see the Rhine River flowing beneath you. From Schaffhausen the train returned again via Winterthur to Zürich Hauptbahnhof and there concluding the journey. With the departure of the historic train from Zürich Hauptbahnhof, we have also reached the end of this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed um, the video and if you want to see more like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and do all the usual stuff. You can find more videos um, on the channel. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye!